everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Terraria Summoner playthrough. So let me tell you guys just how unlucky I have been in terms of the Abigail's flower not spawning in, okay? I even decided to expand the platform out here to give us a whole bunch extra spawning spaces for the Abigail's flower to grow in. But after, and get this, after a four hour AFK session, we still have no sign of the Abigail's flower item here. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> I think what's more interesting is during that four hour AFK session, I didn't die once. I was literally just sat here with the mini map up here and I was going ahead about my day. I was getting a bunch of stuff done around the house of various bits and bobs and not one goblin army spawned in, not one blood moon decided to come in and kill me, not one of the NPCs even wound up dying. So, I don't know what's the biggest surprise. The fact that we didn't get an Abigail's flower, or the fact that nothing happened to us. <laughs> but anyways, welcome back, my friends. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And again, I want to start off by saying an enormous thank you for all of your lovely support throughout this series. I truly do appreciate each and every single one of you. Now, of course, if you want to continue supporting this series and you want to continue seeing more, do be sure, of course, to show your support by dropping a like beneath the video. Hit the subscribe button beneath the video if if you don't want to miss out on my future content and of course if you want to go one further with your support use code python when ordering any of my apex gaming pcs for five percent off so still no abigail's flower that means the next thing we can realistically do i would say is go for the obsidian armor set and that means we have to try to kill the brain of Cth Thulu. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Depending on how much of a fight he provides us, we may go for the obsidian armor straight after in today's episode as well. But that's only on the basis that we're able to take it down pretty early on in the episode here. So, all we need to do is grab ourselves some various arena items, maybe a heart lantern and a campfire, all that kind of basic stuff, really. And then, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a rudimentary arena down at the underground parts of the Crimson Biome. The good news is is even if we do die in today's episode, we can simply use the tombstones to expand our little graveyard micro biome that I guess we'll eventually be making. As time goes on and we die more, we can add to our graveyard biome more, and therefore we should have a much higher chance of the Abigail's flower actually spawning in. Because at the end of the day, we need it. We're going for a completionist playthrough as well as a regular playthrough here. We've got 38 summon weapons, whips, and various other bits to bubs to collect and we've only got five so far so we're gonna need to try and beef up our supply and try our hand at getting some of the rarer things apparently the abigail's flower seems to be one of the rarer things blimey o'reilly what is going on with this crimson biome if i had to guess i would say there's actually two underground crimsony parts here because this place is a bleeding enormous like, it really is. It's actually kind of crazy. <laughs> like, look at this. Look at this. It's so big. And you know what? I'm not going to complain about it. Not even one bit. The bigger our crimson underground biome part here, the more space we have to maneuver around in. In terms of, you know, avoiding the brain of Cthulhu's rather disgusting attack. Ah, look at that, my friends. I was right. There is, in fact, two different crimson biome uh, thingies here. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would most certainly explain why this place down here is so friggin' enormous. Uh-huh. Okay, very cool. All right, well, anyways, guys, we are getting pretty close to having our little rudimentary arena uh, finished here. So we'll get this thing done with you guys. And then we need to get right on with blowing up some of these here, what they call demon hearts or crimson hearts, whatever the devil you want to call them. Ah, yeah. Breaking hearts in this series. A horrible chill goes down my spine. Does it really? I don't think so. Not really. I'm actually feeling pretty confident with this. But uh, as you guys may know, when I go into things confident, I usually come out the other side feeling a bit deflated because I inevitably got killed because I was feeling a bit cocky. I gotta be careful with that, don't I? <laughs> Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Our first attempt. Boom. 
Rotted fork. Boom. Here we go. -go, -go. Alright, yeah, pesky little circles. Hey, come on. Come on, you deadly little circles. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right, we need to try and keep our distance, if at all possible. And we also need... Okay. Also need Ow to not die of full damage. Uh, yeah. I mean, so far, reasonably good, I would say. A lot of these guys seem to be taking poison damage. One of the benefits of the Snapthorn, of course. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. And ladies and gentlemen, anytime now we're in second phase. There we have it. 2,000 health. There is damn it. Hopefully, my uh, slimy boys will continue to do their job in terms... Oh! That was really bad. That was really, really, really bad. Come on, slimy boys. 1400 health. My slimy boys should continue to go for the real one here. Okay, right. Now is where things start getting a little bit tasty. Although, with that said, still not doing overly bad. Okay. Go on. Uh, keep it going away. That's it. Seems to always be the top right for whatever reason here. Uh, right, now it's switched a little bit. 300 health. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on. All right. A little bit more health. Love to see it. Oh, my word. I hate working with, like, mirror imaging. There we are. Hey, we did it. First time as well. It's my slimy boys. <laughs> my little squishy slimy boys. More than a match for the b -b -b brain of Cthulhu. So then, let's open this bad boy up. There is the brain of confusion. We now have a chance of dodging attacks. Hey, you know what? For this particular playthrough, where surviving and our ability to survive is absolutely crucial. Yeah, that's actually really, really good. So then, 56 tissue samples. Oh, wait, no, no, no. There's a couple more here and there dotted around here. Uh, maybe we grab a couple from there. Uh, do we have any sort of like scattered around the top here? Nope. All right, 64. One full Minecraft stack. Ah, you love to see it. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, what we are now in the market to do is make ourselves a, was it a Deathbringer pickaxe for the Crimson variant, right? And then, what we could do is go mining for some obsidian. Although, strictly speaking, I guess technically we could do some obsidian mining now with the usage of some bombs. Huh? Yeah, that's probably not a bad way to go, actually. Right. Needless to say, we do not need the Crimson Armor. We are going to go straight for Obsidian Armor, and we're going to have ourselves a good time while doing so. <laughs> All right, fantastic. But yeah, once again, guys, we have not been able to get ourselves some more tombstones. I'm just too good at this game. What can I say? I don't want to have to continue dying on purpose just so I can have a bleeding chance of an Abigail's flower spawning in. If I'm gonna have tombstones laying all over the place, I want them to be there because I've actually died. Yeah, I went ahead and killed myself on purpose for the first tombstone here, but that's just to get things started, you know? I don't want to have to keep dying on purpose. I don't want to have to make myself a graveyard biome by dying on purpose. I think that's utterly, utterly stupid. So, yeah, that's why I'm not doing that. Well, as nice as the extra armor with the anklet of the wind is, I think the ability to completely dodge attacks supersedes it. So, yeah, we are most definitely putting on the brain of confuzzling. And, uh, yeah, guys, we're going to go find ourselves a whopping great obsidian pond or lake or deposit, whatever you will. Alrighty, well, we can start on our obsidian collecting. We're going to need a fair amount of this stuff in order to make ourselves the obsidian armor. I think it's well over a hundred, if I'm right. <laughs> the skeleton just got absolutely blasted down here. And this area here rather looks like the kind of mystical, magical area where I might just get that amount. Okay, brilliant. Let's try to get the water to come down to it and form some obsidian. All right, we've got ourselves a good amount of water here, my friends. All we got to do is flood the area beneath us, basically, where those lava lakes were just now and were being the operative word. You see, what's going to happen here is we're going to wind up with a bunch of water down here. <laughs> All right, lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, boom. Boom, boom, 
And, oh, okay, lots of boom. Lots of boom. Well, that certainly made a dent in the amount of obsidian we need, so I will most certainly not complain about that. I'm realizing as well that, strictly speaking, we could, if we really wanted to, we could go for the imp staff. But that would be, in my opinion, kind of skipping a whole tier of summon weapons with the Abigail's Flower. Although, a lot of you guys were saying that the Abigail's Flower actually gains a bunch of damage in hard mode. So, I don't know, man. It might still be worth it, you know? It might still be worth us going for the Abigail's Flower. I mean, we're going to be doing it anyway for the sake of being a completionist. But yeah, I don't think we need to be worrying all that much about, you know, skipping tiers of weapons or not getting a lot of usage out of certain weapons. Especially the ones where you can sort of bolster the damage by just summoning in more of the same minions, right? The Stardust Dragon Staff, the Desert Tiger Staff, those kind of summons. I don't think we need to worry all that much about not being able to use stuff. 127 of obsidian. Is that going to be enough of the obsidian armor? I confess I can't remember. Maybe what we do is have a little bit of a look-see here. So, boosh. We've got 20 obsidian, 20 obsidian, 20 obsidian. Oh. Huh. Turns out it requires nowhere near as many resources as I first thought. Why did I think it required over 100? Huh? Oh, I'm really confused. Ah, right, never mind. The good news is we didn't need anywhere near as much resources as I thought we would. We only needed a grand total of 20 tissue sample as well. Huh. And 30 silk. That is very easy to make. Oh! We need a Hellforge though, guys. Ah, darn it. Hmm. You know what it's time for, my friends? I think it's time for super easy elevator time. Hmm? <laughs> ah, you guys know that I love to do this. I really, really do. Uh, what are we going to do here? I think what we need to do... I think I might dig out a little bit of a basement, actually. I'm going to dig out a basement, and we're going to have ourselves a good time while doing so, okay? So, we're going to dig out a basement, and then underneath the basement is going to be an easily made elevator. A meteorite has landed, has it now? I mean, to be honest, there's not actually overly much we can do as a summoner with a meteor, right? I mean, yeah, it's nice, don't get me wrong, but I don't believe there's anything overly interesting that we can get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. So, we grapple up to the top here, and as long as we do that, ow! Yeah, we take a little bit of damage, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, but yeah, guys, check it out. Yeah. Easy elevator time. <laughs> I love this. It's so good. Hmm. I need some more scarab bombs so you know what that means. Time to blow up some desert fossils. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then we put the stuff through the extractinator, get ourselves a bunch of sturdy fossils, and then we can make more scarab bombs. Oh, hey. Guys, oh, check it out. The unconscious man is right here. Hey, buddy. Ah, all right. Well, yeah, we might as well get a couple bits and bobs from this dude, huh? There we have it. Okay, beautiful. Uh, right, you are inadvertently going to get bombed there, buddy. You are standing on stuff. Oh, oh. Uh, apparently, I don't actually wind up blowing him up. Okay, well, that's good, at least. <laughs> Alrighty, you're probably going to tell me that I don't have an extractinator, right? Oh, no, 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 there is one. Hey, okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so all we need to do is get back out the thingy maduhickeys, and we should be able to get this thing on the road. Oh, the right there. Okay, well, I'm a bit of a doofus, aren't I? All right, the more desert fossils we can get, the better things are going to be. So, let's get it going. All right, and there we have it. 28 sturdy fossils. Hey, that's pretty good, isn't it? That's a pretty beefy amount right there, I would say. Very, very good. Uh, let's go ahead and make for ourselves a, a bunch of these here scatter bombs. Yeah, as many as we can. What do we got? 35. Okay, that is way more than enough to get ourselves down to the underworld. Ah, uh, nice. Looks like a elevator is about to uh, break through into a mushroom biome here. Why is that a good thing? Well, getting ourselves truffle worms later down the line, that's going to be a very, very good thing indeed. Wow, look at the size of the water body here. What the hell? Oh, snappers. All right, guys. It's not looking like it's going to be taking many more bombs to get down here. In fact, I would say it is only going to take one more. Yeah. All right. 
hell is getting flooded? <laughs> I mean, obviously, it doesn't actually get flooded, but yeah. The fact of the matter is this. Water dissipates in hell. Yeah, look at it. Draining away. Evaporating right there. Ah, dear. <laughs> All right, never mind. All right, there's only really one reason we're down here, ladies and gentlemen. And that is, of course, to get ourselves a Hellforge. Hey, there we are. One Hellforge for your boy. All right, I guess we're going to need to do a little bit of a thing thing here. Uh, right, if I was to blow this up, I should be able to pick it up. Yes? Come on, let me pick it up. Let me pick it up. Wait, what? Serious? You can't blow it up? Oh, man. You're seriously going to tell me that I actually can't break this? Ah, oh, darn it. I guess what I should have done was made a Deathbringer pickaxe first. Why am I such a colossal idiot? All right. Let's go ahead and, you know, actually make the Deathbringer pickaxe. There we are. It's a pointy one. Very cool. And 8% uh, damage? Yeah, sure. I'll take it. I was about to say, let's go ahead and reforge it to get ourselves some speed. But then uh, I realized I don't have a goblin tinkerer. Nor have we even taken down the goblin army just yet. Which is interesting. I would have figured we would have done it by now. But no. Anyways, back to the Hellforge. We will pick that bad boy up. And we will make ourselves the obsidian armor set by the end of today's episode. Because there's some pretty cool buffs that you get with it, my friends. All right. And there we have it. The Hellforge. Yeah. All right. Very cool. All we've got to do is head on home. We're going to replace the regular furnace with the Hellforge. And then we should be good to go in terms of making ourselves the obsidian armor set. My God. We've got over 2,000 cobweb here. We don't need anywhere close to that. <laughs> That's a lot. Oh, I just saw it. Hang on, I just noticed it. Oh, my God. You guys probably noticed it earlier in the episode, but there it is. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, Abigail's flower. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Fantastic. We finally got the Bleeding thing. Oh, man. It took so long. It took so long. <laughs> oh, we finally have it, though. Slimy boys, I am so, so sorry, but it is your time to be retired. We now have Abigail's flower. Oh, man. Do I feel good about that. So, yeah, with this particular weapon, the shape and color of the flower sort of evolves as you get more and more minion slots available to you. So, at the moment, we've only got two minion slots. So, again, let's just do that again. She's got, like, one of these, and then it gets, like, a bigger flower now. Eh? Hey? So that means as you get more and more minion slots, that means you get more and more damage with Abigail's Flower. And that carries over into hard mode with a damage boost for hard mode. So yeah, very, very much looking forward to using this bad boy as we go along here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm chuffed. I'm absolutely chuffed. I truly am. That is so good. And ladies and gentlemen, check this out as well. We have ourselves a new armor set to go along with it. All right, and it's got a very, very good amount of uh, defense here, going from 17 defense up to 23. That's an increase of 6, which is very, very nice. Set bonus increases whip range by 30% and speed by 15%. Increased summon damage by 15%. The pants have 8%, so that's 23% so far. That increases max number of minions, so we are still, unfortunately, only at 2 minion slots, but that's okay because we've got more damage with it now. And a further increase to our summon damage by 8%. So, if my maths serves me correctly, we have a grand total of 31% increased summon damage. Hey, this thing now does 8 summon damage as opposed to 6. Oh, 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 it's beautiful though, isn't it? So then, ladies and gentlemen, I think in the next episode, what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to go for the imp staff okay and maybe optionally skeletron and or queen bee if we manage to take down queen bee of course we'll be able to make ourselves the b set of armor and i'm pretty sure that actually comes with two additional minion slots so we'll have three minion slots in total and we'll have a uh, slightly more evolved abigail's flower minion dude here so then ladies and gentlemen on that rather epic note it is indeed time to end off today's episode thank you so much for watching if you you guys have enjoyed today's episode and of course you're excited to see more of my terraria summer to play through here please do be sure of course to head down below the video and spend a second to drop a like it really does help out myself 
the channel and the video massively. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I can't believe we finally got Abigail's flower. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. I'm so happy about that. Oh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of your wonderful support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.